Listen, I tell you, we have a designated unit, and their only job is to find Tomas, to talk about Tomas, to think about Tomas, and as soon as they know something, you're my first phone call. But right now, I got this other case I'm working. Yeah, I know, but you have my promise, okay? Thanks. Ma'am, don't look sad. Said, honey, John will always be your daddy, no matter what. I just think that right now, maybe mommy's better off without him. Right? Because I need someone who, who's uh. honest and, uh. yeah, and loving and forgiving, most importantly. Because that's how you're going to be, right? When you grow up, you're going to be just like that. And you're going to make a woman so happy. <laughs> uh, don't you think he might be a little young for that? <laughs> it is never too early to learn about love. Especially when his role models are uh, leaving a lot to be desired. Oof. What does that mean? <laughs> never mind. Can I get you something to eat? No, I already have pancakes with Grandpa Clint. You two have breakfast together? Yeah, he invited me over, and he even gave me some stuff for art class. These are for doing ink drawings. Cool. You know, your dad's always bragging about how good you are in art. Is he back yet? Not yet. He's still in Rio. Why do you think he went down there? It's because of Mom, right? <laughs> Stacy, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey. Wake up, 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 wake up,
There's still some questions that need answers, but this should not take much longer. Can you just cut me some slack for another couple days? I guess. Come on, I'm sure Roxy's ordering pizza like every night. It can't be that bad. It's okay. Save me a couple slices. I'll tell you about my trip as soon as I get back. Okay. I love you, buddy. Love you, too. And Dad? Yeah. I hope you found what you're looking for this time. Me, too. You okay? Shane knows I'm still chasing after Gigi. He's got to be wondering how psycho I am. You're probably just still freaked out from that dream you had. No, it wasn't a dream, Aubrey. It was a memory. Of what? Finding Gigi dead. Try not to be too angry at your dad. He's just having a really hard time letting go. I know. But whatever he's doing in Brazil, it's not going to bring Mom back, and it's not going to make Jack pay for what he did to her. And that's all I care about. What the hell do you want? Morning, sunshine. I said, what do you want? Your mom around? What do you care? Hmm. I care more than you know. She had a rough night last night. Yeah? Well, you can forget about her, okay? If she wants to cry on someone's shoulder, she can do that with her boyfriend. Who's that? Tomas? Yeah, who else? Toe for short. You need to spend more time reading. I don't read the sun anymore. The new publisher sucks. He's gonna drive the whole place out of business. Yeah, somebody tried to put me out of business. Do you hear? Really? Yeah, it didn't work, though. Some jackass lit my office on fire. Didn't stop me, though. Back up and running. Just in time for this. You're not in this school to get cozy with Jack Manning, okay? I didn't sweat blood with Mummy and Jumby to convince them to let you stay with us just so you could date American boys. I still don't know how you did that. Well, I told them that by living with a couple like us, you might see that an arranged marriage can work. Not for me. I will never marry that hideous husband Mumbi and Jumbi have chosen for me. Don't worry, Nila. All you need to think about is getting used to this new school, okay? No, your sister doesn't need you to criticize the first friend she made in this country. Well, you think Jack Manning just wants to be her friend? Rama, he helped her hide from us. The same boy also saved our lives when Brody Lovett trapped us in that burning building. I know. You think I'd burn down my own family's newspaper? No way. When I said my parents would turn me into a baby factory, you were like, I know a lie when I hear it because I've been known to tell a few. Well, so have I. Fine. You win. I did it. I set the fire. Are they... Are they sure Officer Lovett is the one who set that fire? Nothing I say can make up for what I did to you. I tried to keep your son from you. There's no excuse for that. No arguments here. I should have told you as soon as I found out. I should have done a lot of things. I didn't come for an apology, Brody. This is business. Kidnapping charges? Not yet. We're gonna see what the doctors say. See what the DA says. Right now, you just concentrate on getting help. I got help once before. I thought it worked. What happened, John? I took an oath to uphold the law, and I broke every law in the book, just trying to keep the truth from coming out. The fire at the sun was determined to be an arson. And you've been implicated, Brody. I'll save you some time. They found the murder weapon in Tomas Delgado's room with Tomas Delgado's fingerprints all over it, and now Tomas Delgado has disappeared. I don't believe it. Yeah, your mom's having a hard time believing it, too. But let me ask you something. Why, when the cops are closing in, would that guy take off if he didn't have something to hide? There's got to be an explanation. Yeah, yeah, there is an explanation. I've been telling you all along I didn't kill Victor. Now it looks like somebody else did. So find me, Jack. Do you finally believe me? 